in Cape Coast. Um, Cape Coast is the capital of the central region. And very soon we'll be coming, um, we'll be going through the University of Cape Coast, UCC, uh, that is mostly called UCC. And so here you see is actually the outskirts of Cape Coast town itself. The original name of Cape Coast is Ogwa. Ogwa. Yes, O G U A A, Ogwa. Uh, but um, the Europeans changed it to Cape Coast, especially the British. Call it Cape Coast. They love to do that, man. <laughs> so very soon we'll be at the university. And the university was actually set up in 1962. Um, during the time of our first president, there was a committee that was set up to look into education in Ghana. And um, one of the recommendations for the committee was um, we needed more teachers in our schools, second cycle schools or high schools, senior high schools, at the time we called secondary schools. And so the university main mandate is to train teachers trained teachers. So they offer a um, Bachelor of Education, Bachelor degrees in Education. But over the years, the university has expanded because of the number that are coming up over the years, um, growing, uh, the number of students who go to the university. So they have to do other programs apart from only educational courses. So the university is, um, has so many programs that it runs, just like um, the University of Ghana and then the um, University uh, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. So these three universities are called the traditional universities because they were the first ones to be built. And then the government has built other universities. So um, we will go, the, we're going to enter into um, the gate, one of the gates, and then come out on the other side of the gate. So we have a north side and a south side. So we're about to go there very soon. And just like UC, um, just like Legon University of Ghana in Accra, and then Kwame Nkrumah University in Kumasi, um, all the university, traditional universities have big land, so they very big campus. We are just gonna see portion of the campus as we drive into it. And then. Um, Tomorrow we will get to visit the dungeons and all that. Uh, Mobumani will give us updates about that uh, when we get to One Africa in our country. And so um, one other thing that you need to know is um, Cape Coast and Elmina are like sister cities or sister towns. Um, there's just a bridge or a water that separates the two of them. And um, Along the coast here, all the Europeans that you could think about were here. Um, the Swedes, the Portuguese, the Dutch, um, the British, the Danish, all of them. The French, all of them. One of the pieces of the land. So uh, you'll get to see that. Just about a few more minutes to get there. So one thing about here uh, is they have a festival they celebrate the people of Ogwa or the Cape Coast people. They have a, a, a festival called uh, Fetu Afashe. And uh, every year they celebrate uh, the festival. A very, very remarkable festival. Um, it's also like uh, in Kumasi. They call it the cleansing of the stools and then the opening up of a harvest season or new harvest season. And during the festival time, there is a period where they observe a month of uh, no drumming, no noise making and all that. This is very, very important in the traditional setting because it's a time where they believe that the ancestors, people who've gone in the past, come home. And so when they come, when they are coming, they want to come peacefully, no disturbance and all that. So they observe a one month of a ban on noise making. And most of the traditional areas, 
um, observe that because it's very important to them. And then after that, there is a very big grand derba where they do it. And then also they celebrate another thing, um, you know, with the introduction of the Europeans, they, there has been a cross, um, how do I say, introduction of other foreign things into the culture. So they celebrate a festival called the uh, Masquerade Festival. But then we are entering into the university now. So this is the university um, north entrance. And then when you come up forward, we'll climb a hill up a bit. There is a statue with somebody holding a book and a torch. Or a lantern. Um, the lantern, there's no light in the lantern. This is to symbolize that. Well, when you are here on this campus, in this university, you're supposed to study. Even when there's no light, you study. And um, you should be very, you take your books and your studies very serious. <coughs> and then on our right here is one of the halls can see you all because of the trees here. They have one of the halls of residence called dormitory, you want to call it the dormitory. They have it here. So this is the statue uh, I was talking about. Stay home and study and keep out from partying. <laughs> you can right, you can party later when you finish your studies and you graduate honors, right? <laughs> That's what it means altogether? Yeah. in the secondary schools or senior high schools and then the junior high schools come from this place. And then apart from this university, there's another university called University of Education. It's in, it's in the central region. It's called Winneba. It's a place called Winneba. That is where I, I had my first degree. It is also one of those mandates also, was also to train teachers. But it was first called Kwame Nkrumah Institute um, of Theology. At the first time it was it was it was established Kwame College of Theology, and um, it was to promote Kwame Nkrumah ideas and then also look into the tradition and culture of Ghana, and so they had a music school which is very very famous, um, and a lot of uh, music, traditional music was studied and all that is there. So um, this is uh, up here. You have them, some of the classroom blocks or the lecture halls. So you see a College of Agriculture and Natural Sciences. So all these are students um, on campus here.
right there with 23 on. Is that Michael Jordan? What the hell is that? Number 23, is that Michael Jordan? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Cracker, is a cracker, is a cracker, is a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> a cracker. Is a cracker. That's, that's a Dr. Khaled. <laughs> This time we were in Cape Coast and driving to the Cape Coast University here in Ghana as we're on our way to One Africa Resort in Paradise. And it's giving you a nice view of the university as you drive through. There's a community if you look down on my right, there's a community here. Uh, so when it was built, the community was in it, so all of them lived together. So you can see it on my right. So some of the students uh, live here. Some of the homes are rented out to students. They have a practice school, so those doing the educational courses can do practice right on campus or can go outside. So you can see at the school on our right, that's one of the practice schools that you see here. That's the University Junior High School. Isn't that cute? We are free. south side so when we came in was their north side is their south side and south side is actually where the school started the first departments were all here and you have the residents all over around here as well and 
then the school also has a nest in the, the hospital right on our left, driving past it. On our left, the university hospital to take care of uh, the staff and their family. And Banao is open also to the public as well, so people come here as well. The school also has a, a nest in school. And then on our, my right here is the old administration block or administrative block. So we exiting now. is the Atlantic Ocean. It's going to come right up in front of us. Yes. On the and other side is a coconut dotted line all across as we go. And the direction we're actually now going is west. We're going west. Like in the middle of the country, uh, I think it's a bit. It's like, uh, no, the automobile. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, it's a local manufactured uh, vehicle. It's made, made here in Ghana. But what, what part is they in? Oh, yeah. They are in. Gumwa? Uh, Gumwa. When we're going back to Accra, we'll drive past oh, okay. the place, yes. When we're going back to Accra, we'll drive past. Yeah. They got a nice view. Yes, they have. Nice view. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that's the Atlantic Ocean. This side we call it the Gulf of Guinea. The Gulf of Guinea? Yes. Alright, um, right, I'll do that. Um, but then you just have to go to And you know, uh, the Atlantic is, on this side is very, very rough. Oh, really? No, yes. I mean, um, no, I'll, I'll give it to us or something. No, um, I'm talking off from one of them. So he wants to come up from the neighbors to the <laughs> When you are at uh, Wild Africa, you could see the Elmina Dungeon. But if you look through the coconut trees, you look straight on the water, where my hand is pointing, you could see the Elmina Dungeon. Elmina Dungeon is actually the first uh, one that was built, was built in 1482. Portuguese arrived here in 1471, and then in 1482, uh, they built the Elmina Dungeon. So you can see it right at the tip, protruding into the water. That's the Omina Dungeon. Only in one Africa you can see it from there. Yes, family. So family, we are still in Cape Coast. We just left the university. The journey continues. Only the one Africa. 